Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and in today's video we will build this eSIM racing pedal which I'll be using on Dead Rally 2.0. Everything is printed using PLA and obviously it's got some metal parts, it's got some hex bolts, it's got a, a let's quickly see the bearing is a 625Z um, bearing that you basically fit in there. This pedal over here is just was one of the prototypes. It's got some flaws in it, so if you pu push it down, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it does a little bit of bending over here. So I fixed it by printing it a bit more solid. This cannot flex. So the components that you need for this is over here. So obviously there's the body. Here's the two side plates, it's got some spacers, some arms to turn the potentiometer, a potentiometer, spring, bearings, pedal plates, you, you get the gist of it. And something else, else I want to show you, I don't know if you recognize this, this is the, a spring tensioner for an electric fencing system. So I got this from the hardware store. It's quite cheap. Uh, you normally buy them for in a packet. So all you do is you just pull this part out and then you have a spring. So springs are always hard to find. So this is a neat hack you can use to get springs. And um, yeah, so let's let's quickly assemble it. So once you've assembled everything, uh, you can attach it to a, a pine board and just spray it black or cover it with some sort of material um, you can do whatever you want and what do you think is good I also printed a um, cable cover so it neatens up the wiring at the back okay, to have better cable management and I also attached it to this um, Arduino Leonardo um, the SDL files for these pedals will be in the description of this video so you can just download it there I'll upload it to Thingiverse and as well as um, the sketch and the software used to program this um, will also be in the description and how to connect everything up and um, I'm going to quickly um, hook it up to my PC and then we're going to try it out and see if it works one other thing I need to mention as well is um, uh, these uh, potentiometers uh, I hope you can see them um, they are 100k potentiometers I, I tried a 10k um, 100k and as well as a 1k and I find that the 10k and the 1k um, does not allow for enough travel and then you would accelerate but then it only sort of pushes the accelerator halfway or it would like start halfway and when you press it it goes full way so that you can so if you had to play a game your car would either accelerate only halfway or it would like always accelerate from halfway to, to full. Um, uh, on Dirt Rally, it, it, it works quite well with um, the clutch brake and, and the accelerator. So yeah, 100K is the best option to use. So let's, I'm gonna quickly connect it up and show you how it works. Okay, to program the Arduino, you would need a program called Xloader. It's basically a program that will just um, upload the binary hex file to um, the Arduino using AVR Dude. So I'm just going to show you. I'll open it. Um, sorry, not. Uh, let's open Xloader. And then you just basically tell it that it's a Leonardo and you choose the COM ports and you have to then choose the hex file. And again, all of this will be in the description of the video. I'm not going to upload it right now. Just a little trick, the Arduino Leonardo, when it starts up, it starts up with a different port number. And then within eight seconds, it will disconnect and reconnect to your computer automatically, and then it will have a different port number. You need to upload this before it uh, disconnects and changes the port number, because then it always starts up in, in DFU mode, and you can only upload in DFU mode. So if I had to now upload it will fail because it's not in DFU mode. So once you've done that then it's pretty much a matter of um, installing the real config software and it will look like this and um, there's the pedal. Uh, I will press the pedal and on the screen 
you can see that it um, shows you the, the movement. And it's as simple as that. Um, you will probably have to fiddle a little bit with the potentiometer. You might have to position it and then only connect the little arm. So it may take a few times to get it right. But essentially you want full travel. So now it's at zero and if I press it all the way, it must go to the top. You can see there's a little bit that's not um, not filling, but it's, it's okay. It, it works. And um, obviously I can show you in the advanced settings you can tell it what it does. So, and then you can also fiddle with the linearity. I always put it on eight, and then it works for me. It may be a little bit different uh, for you. Not all potentiometers are the same, so maybe you might have to adjust it a little bit. Then once it's done, we're gonna load up Dead Rally. Okay, so we're just gonna choose a car. I don't know what car you guys like. I like the Ford Escort. And then let's just wait for it to load. Okay, and we're ready to race. So I'm going to try and put the pedal and the screen in. So if you... It goes. And you can obviously brake. And then a little bit of acceleration. And then, go and then let's brake. And then let's use... I hope I can do this with one hand. I'm holding down the clutch. As you can see now. So it works quite well. And it's, it's, um, believe it or not, it's actually, it actually makes you play the game a little bit better because if you just have a keyboard like I do, then it means that when you press the accelerator, it's either full acceleration or nothing. Um, whereas with these pedals, you can sort of... Um, limits uh, the amount of acceleration um, so now the next thing is to actually build the steering wheel the 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 sketch that you upload to this actually supports uh, a steering wheel i do not have an encoder or a printer that i can take apart to strip the encoder to sort of build a force feedback wheel but um when when i get that right then obviously i'll make another video and, and show you guys and um yeah thank you for watching and remember everything to build this project will be in the description of the video um, thank you. Have a good day. Cheers, everybody.